Hey, this is Gary Swartz with Squire Coca-Cola. I want to talk about the power of small good ideas every single day by everyone. We're surrounded by waste and we just don't see it. But this is just a small video to, to tell you about, you know, some of the most basic things that we probably don't even really notice. It's just, it's happened all of our lives and it's accepted. Uh, so there's a lot of companies that really focus on waste and they, they do it by uh, really highlighting, you know, what can we do every single day? So the Toyotas of the world, the Tesla of the world, Paul Akers with FastCap, which is very near our plant in Bellevue, you know, he, he also has the same type of methodology of identifying waste and just fix what bugs you. You know, simple things that, that you yourself can fix, find and fix every single day. So here's a small example of a waste. All right, I'm here to show you the simplest lean thing that I can think of. See how this paper's hanging out? That's plenty of paper to wet my hands. And see after I tear it off, let's see what happens. Nothing, right? That's not good. Let's come over here to this guy. So plenty of paper, that's exactly how much I need. Let's see how much this is when I tear the paper off. See if it does anything different. Isn't that better? Because now, for this one, I have to wait this long. I don't want to wait this long. I want to just tear it off and it goes. So real simple, right? I mean, not, not, a, not a big deal, but over time, what would that equate to? So only four seconds. Don't get so worried about it, Gary. Let's, let's move along to something a little more important. And really, we, we don't need to really go through and cost justify, you know, all of these small improvements. But it, let's just look at this one particular example and see how this may impact one particular plant. So how much does this really impact everyone's time? So as you can see that this is the, the box of paper and it has about 800 feet on every single row. And let's say that this actually dispensed one foot, we hope. Uh, if you did that uh, one foot, it would last 800 times. And four seconds for each of those 800 translates to 3,200 seconds a day. So the, the janitor says that roll lasts about uh, one day. And we have a lot of these in every single facility. Uh, so if you multiply that over a year of production, so we run about 260 days per year, or over 800,000 seconds per year, it's hard for me to really comprehend how big of a number that is. But it, if we break it down a little bit further, it's 231 hours every year just for that one dispenser and if you think about it as a 40-hour work week that's over five weeks lost just for waving your hand and this is spread across many many people that use this bathroom so there's probably a hundred people in this facility and only a, a, a few of them or a good many of them utilize this bathroom but imagine what it would be multiplied over your facility and how many of these dispensers that you have. So sadly, you know, at, at a lot of places I go, like most every airport I go to, you know, you have to wave your hand, you have to wait, and they don't give you nearly enough paper to wipe your hands with. Maybe they give you eight inches and you needed 12. So you got to wave your hand twice and do this behavior again. And instead of getting, you know, the required 12 inches, you get eight and eight or 16. So you get an extra four inches that, may be waste. So anyway, it, it, it may sound trivial, but over the long haul, it really adds up to some really significant waste. And, you know, and if you have 10 of these in your facility, maybe that would add up to 57 weeks lost. You know, if you had six plants, you know, what, what would that be? 57 weeks times six. That's a, a, a pretty large number. So if we did have 10, 10 different dispensers and they all say 5.7 hey let's let's just reduce our headcount by one person like i can't tell you how horrible of an idea that is because that's what most people are concerned with oh if i make my job quicker and easier they're going to get rid of me and there may be some organizations that think that's a good idea but it's not 
what you really want to do is you want to find more ways. Once you get people really thinking in this level of detail, imagine how much impact. Now, if you actually go outside of the bathroom and work on your production lines or, you know, in the offices, but work on even more wasteful processes, more, oftentimes there's more waste in the office than there is on production uh, facilities. But how could this impact you? So the solution isn't to factor out people. It's to get these people to see waste and empower them to do more. Find things that they can actually do themselves and empower them, give them the time and the uh, abilities to go out and address ways that they find every day. So anyway, hope that helps you. You know, uh, there are even more wasteful processes. Imagine those dry blowers. I can't stand those. Like I'm, I'm fairly germophobic guy and I would rather have a disease ridden Given sneeze my hands dry than stick them underneath there, but imagine how much longer that takes. I guarantee it's more than than uh, even the best process uh, utilizing these automated dispensers. So anyway, hope that helps. You know, I, I, here's a link. You know, so if you search YouTube for this uh, this title right here, uh, or if you're able to click on the link if you have the, the PowerPoint, you can skip to to the 227 mark, and it shows you exactly how to program that. A very well uh, laid out video, probably a lot more professional than this one, but you know, I encourage everyone, just like Paul Anker says, you know, hey, if, if you have something, do a before and after video and then share it with your whole team. So there's a lot of different sh ways to share it. Within Swire, we have a Facebook group that all of our plants uh, belong to on the manufacturing side and share it. You know, if, if, if you automate this in your facility, maybe it'll spread to other facilities. And uh, maybe you can put a, uh, uh, a QR code on there that'll link exactly to this video of how to uh, program each individual uh, dispenser in case you ever dis replace that dispenser. So maybe you could put it on the wall right next to it. So whenever you replace that dispenser, the next one that goes in, maybe someone will program it properly to always advance out the proper amount of paper. So hope this helps and good luck. You know, I encourage everyone just go out into your facilities and look for waste. Thank you. Have a great day.